Hello everyone. Vinegar eels are, are one of those mystical foods that the killifish guys talk about or the betta people, but they're really quite easy to grow. What you need is some apple cider vinegar, you need some water, you need a jar, container to grow them in, and you need a little piece of apple. Now, you've got to start with an existing culture. They do not come out of space. So, you have an existing culture. You can buy these from a lot of places online or go to another uh, fish club meeting and, and you can find somebody there that will have one of these. But here's all there is to it. It's, it's got to be about the easiest thing there is to grow. You want to take your container and you want a good apple cider vinegar, just like you get in the grocery store anywhere. And this jar is getting pretty close to done, but you're basically looking for a 50-50 ratio. And I don't really have enough to make that ratio, so I'm going to have to make a pretty small culture. Now, if I eyeball it, I can tell about where I'm going to put in the other half of the water. So we're going to add water. And you don't have to stir or shake it or anything, just pouring it in gives you a nice mix, as you can see. Mixes up very nicely. I'm going to add a, a piece of apple. That gives you food for your vinegar eels. And then just pour some in from an existing culture. If you've bought it, you got a little tiny thing to pour in. Doesn't matter. It'll work. And then this culture's got to breathe. So you can use a coffee filter. I never have time to go looking for one. I just use a paper towel with a rubber band. You don't want bugs landing in there. And that's it. Your vinegar eels are off and running. Now, they will literally live like this pretty much until everything evaporates out. When we get this one going, my other one has evaporated quite a bit. I might add some water to it. It's getting really a little too dark. I add a little water to it. And I'll do another video later on and show you how to harvest them. Uh, there's an easy way, and there's a whole bunch of really hard ways to harvest vinegar eels. But they're really, really a fine food for your fish. Now, something to think about, because everybody knows about microworms or Walter worms or banana worms, whatever. Those sink to the bottom. If you're trying to raise some bettas or tetras or some really small fish that are up in the water column, those microworms pass by, hit the bottom, and rot, causing problems. Vinegar eels swim around. So they're up in the water column, the same place, advertising themselves to get eaten. So if, you've, if you're working with some really small fish in the water column, Vinegar eels and paramecium and other kinds of rotifers and, and infusoria is really the place to start until they get big enough for, for brine shrimp. So that's all there is to doing the vinegar eels. Thank you for watching.